day, Harry and Meghan, or is it Meghan and Harry? Usually it's the woman before the man, but then one's a prince and one's a princess. Anyway, this is uh, my gift to you. It has quite the story, of course, because I'm in Malaysia. And uh, what you're seeing um, actually is real. This is called the, the background, actually, is sand from the beach. It's called Golden Sand. Yeah. Um, and this is uh, an image of a leaf that, I, that was already there. And it was quite a beautiful image. And then I, um, I thought, gosh, I would love to give you something original for your, for your wedding. And um, of course, I have many pictures of Diana. So I tried them out. This one was the most appropriate because what it did is um, this is Diana at her natural best. Okay? She was just Diana. And um, the image is so evocative. The, the way that it naturally fit into the, into the leaf. And um, this is not even me doing any special effect, but well, just a couple. I love the fact that it created a corona, like an eclipse, and uh, like a crown. So, Diana, your mother, was quite an exquisite woman, for all the reasons you know and more. That, you know, after 20 years of being deceased, she still plays a role in all our lives and our, and our hearts. Um, she may have been born in Rose, but she has become a far greater icon of love, of happiness, of, of um, you know, what is good in the world. So, while we may have lost her temporarily, through the two of you becoming husband and wife and creating a new dynasty, we have come up with something that um, only your mother could have crafted, which is, I think, beautifully quite appropriate. Uh, so, I hope you like it. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> I hope it has a, you know, a sentimental or a, you know, poignant uh, place in your heart. Just a celebration of the joy 